Today is the 6th of October 2021. You're watching Fairy Phantom News on GFTV News. Welcome to the program. The headlines. GFTV restates purpose of their Fairy Convention spreadsheet. Bomb threat causes Fairy Convention to cancel last minute. Russian government official suggests labeling furries as extremists. It was made at first to provide furry convention updates during COVID-19, but Southeast Asia's first and largest furry media channel, Global Furry Television, has revised the purpose of their convention status spreadsheet. Now called the Furcon Status Tracker, or FIRST, the spreadsheet has given valuable data on convention statuses for two years. Many event organizers have used the data for their decision-making processes. Smaller conventions unheard of have gained a spotlight. FIRST has become accessible thanks to its availability in 14 languages. It also has the world's biggest and most comprehensive list of furry conventions. A brand new 2022 section is now open. That's it, looking at GFTV FIRST's data, we have 57 cancelled, 1 deferred, 41 to hold this year, and 22 completed. On Friday, September 26, US-based Convention Forever West cancelled their 2021 event at the last minute within their planned states. This came after they received what they say is a quote, bomb threat. Speaking to US-based furry media channel Grovel reports, convention staff Charlie Bean says the convention will carry on with a one-day event to replace their 2021 event. They also add they quote, hope Forever West can hold next year in 2022. The staff is working to ensure their event will be safe and enjoyable moving forward. A four-hour-long furry meetup was successfully held at a local park one day after the cancellation. In recent years, political debates globally have started to bleed into furry fandom. While many speak of furries bringing politics to the community, how about politics bringing furries into the picture? In a proposal to Russia's parents' chamber on Wednesday, September 29th, Andrei Tsigonov mentions to label furries as an extremist ideology. That is among other references to the LGBT community, radical feminism, and the child-free movement. To note, Tsigonov is the deputy head of Russia's Federal Anti-Monopoly Service. Russia's parents' chamber was established to, among its goals, improve the birth rate in the country. And the child-free movement refers to a global trend where people choose to not have children. Russia's population is decreasing. This came in tandem with their decreasing annual population growth rate, which sat at 0.04% as of 2020. On January 15, 2020, Russian President Vladimir Putin declared boosting birth rates as vital to Russia's future. He linked this with economic reasons. In trying to do this, Russia's conservative government has put up policies, some among which have targeted the LGBT community. The most infamous of them is the Gay Propaganda Law, which started in 2013. The law's debut has reportedly seen violence against LGBT people double since. Russian state media says the law targets people, quote, engaged in propaganda. However, what the term propaganda refers to is still open and ambiguous. In 2013, the Russian president defended the law, saying the law doesn't infringe on sexual minorities' rights. International observers, on the other hand, say it directly bans LGBT rights and culture. The European Court of Human Rights have found the law, quote, discriminatory. Furry fandom is the only subculture mentioned in the government officials' proposal. Thus, this attracted fear, concern, and anger from furries globally. That includes furries with Russian heritage or are Russians themselves as well. 
Because most furries are in marginalized groups like the LGBT community, emotions are intense. States one user with Russian heritage, this branding makes me even more scared to go there one day. To state, furry fandom has a presence in Russia. In fact, the country sees three conventions held each year. They are Sparrowfest, Silicon, and Rustference. In writing to GFTV, Rustference says they don't have much comment and is calm facing the situation. That's all for GFTV News. Subscribe to our Telegram channel or visit globalfairytv.news.blog for more furry news updates. Have a great and wonderful floppy day.